Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Esther Betters and I am very excited to tell you all about Tucson. It's been a couple months since I went, but I wanted to do this video that just shows you like a quick weekend, what it could look like, um, and if you need more time than that, what that would be like. Also, I want to give a quick shout out to this jean jacket. I think I've seen all over social media that jean jackets are coming back in style and I think it's funny because I've had this jean jacket since 2016 and I made sure not to get rid of it <laughs> because I knew jean would always come back. I still wore my jean jacket like every now and then because I think a hoodie and jean jacket are unstoppable. Shout out to all my jean lovers. I have been making some fashion content as well so check out those videos but for right now we're gonna stick to traveling. So weekend in Tucson. Let me start with saying I don't think I would need more time than a weekend in Tucson, Arizona. I think it's, if you're going to just stay in Tucson itself, it is very small compared to other bigger cities that you might want more time in. Like if I was going to Tucson and then Phoenix, uh, maybe I would stay for a whole week, but solely Tucson, I think a weekend is like just perfect to see all the sights. It's not much of a walkable city. I do think you need to get a rental car or take Ubers and Lyfts. I don't even know what the public transit looks like there actually. I think I did see that they had it. I'm not sure how good it is though. So my recommendation if you're going to Tucson for a weekend trip, get a rental car. I want to start with the Airbnb because this Airbnb I stayed at before when I was in Tucson and it is absolutely beautiful. It is like a duplex style kind of house. It's ranch style. Um, there's two doors. The other side tenants I think is also an Airbnb because I'm always seeing people going in and out of that spot but they never bothered us once. Um, I think it was it was I think it was a really great stay. Outside there's cameras so they can see you know you're parking your car making sure your car is safe. Uh, that's really good in case you do have a rental or you take a car with you so that you can ensure that nothing is happening to it. The area itself was fine. I don't think I saw anything that made me never want to stay again. I think it's important to note in general, like you will see homeless on the main street leading up to the Airbnb. But as far as that street itself, you don't really see anything else but families. The Airbnb was perfect for my family. There was four of us in total that stayed at this Airbnb and it has a living room, it's got two bathrooms, closets with ample space, a full kitchen. My mom was like cooking every day even though we told her not to. She was still making breakfast every morning at this Air She loves Airbnbs. Like I think she thinks she's so fancy when she stays at Airbnbs. Uh, the Airbnb itself was so nice. Yeah, they were great. Also, since it was my second time staying there, I. I reached out to them ahead of time and asked them for a discount. Maybe they were going to give me one, you know? And they did. So they're really nice people. I suggest if you're looking into staying in Tucson, Arizona, you should stay at this Airbnb if you need that much space. And then also reach out to them and see if they have any type of discount they can give you for booking with them. Aside from the Airbnb and how great it was, let's get into food, which is the second topic for today's video. I need to give you a rundown of all the food places. I think because it was a trip to hang out with my brother who lives there, we didn't do a whole bunch of sightseeing. And sightseeing in general in Tucson, Arizona is a bit hard because there isn't a lot of attractions there in general. So we spent a lot of our time eating. And so I'm going to be completely honest about the places that I went and if I would ever go again. So the first spot that I want to rate and review on here is Taiguki Tucson. I might be saying that wrong and I'm very sorry. Would I go back? No. I don't think I would go back. I think I love Korean barbecue. I guess I should explain what it is. So Taiguki in Tucson is a Korean barbecue spot and typically Korean barbecue spots you have this like stove in front of you and you're cooking your own food. Hear me out. I remember my first time going to one I was telling my fiance who was my boyfriend at the time, like, I don't want to go cook my own food for our date. <laughs> like, I don't want to go do that. Like, how is that fun for you? But then I went and it was so much fun. Like, now I love Korean barbecue spots and I want to go to all of them. Um, my favorite one is in San Diego. But, so going back to the Taiguki in Tucson, 
the experience itself I think was fun because I was with family and we were having a good time but the options for marinated meats was very slim and I love me some like pre-marinated meat uh, to throw on their little stoves. I think the price was a little high for what was on the menu and they had like the upgraded menu item but if you get that then everyone at the table has to get that so we didn't go with that option. So would I go back to Taiguki Tucson, the Korean barbecue spot? No I would not um, but that's not to say you shouldn't go and like try it. If you really like Korean barbecue and you like to rate the places definitely go give it a shot and let me know what you think. The second food spot would be Rollies. Rollies in Tucson was rated best tacos from like 2018 to 2021 and so I had to go check it out. My brother told me that he absolutely loved it there and so I went and I wasn't impressed. I was not impressed. It's a very cute establishment, really well designed, um, the staff was super friendly, they had like the Mexican pop options. It had a lot of potential and I think maybe I'm a harsh grader because I'm a taco lover but like would I go back? Maybe. Like if my brother absolutely wanted to go I would go back. But like would it come from me to say like hey let's go to Rollies next time we're in Tucson? No, I wouldn't do that who I did think had really good tacos and that's the third one here. It's a taco truck. It's not a spot that has a storefront. It's not a spot that has air conditioning or fancy seating. It's a taco truck and it's in front of like an auto zone near where the Airbnb was. And so I'll try to drop the like address in the description. It's always so funny trying to describe where taco trucks are because I mean they're movable and they're not always there, right? Um, but the best taco trucks are the ones that you really don't have a direct address for, <laughs> in my opinion. So this taco truck was in front of an auto zone. It's called My Taquito. You could just tell, like, they were a family-owned taco truck. The mom came out and talked to my mom. Their daughter was taking orders. They were so friendly, so nice. Uh, we went on, I think it was a Sunday, so it was odd because usually taco trucks are closed on Sunday, but they were open. Amazing tacos. The whole family loved it. The green salsa was everything. And would I go back? Yeah, I would definitely go. I think if you're going to Tucson, Arizona, you'd go check out a taco truck. And I think the My Taquito taco truck is the great one to stop by. Another food spot I went to, in and out I'm not an in and out person. I have to mention it just because just I got footage of it. Uh, do you need to go to in and out when you're in Tucson, Arizona? No. <laughs> I don't care who comes for me in the comments, In-N-Out is not that good. I will pick Whataburger over In-N-Out any day. Okay, nightlife. So, Tucson has a really fun nightlife. That is something about Tucson. If you like to go out and hear really good music, go to Tucson. I think the music down south in general is typically a lot better. I don't know what it is. I mean, I grew up in Ohio, so I think I can, I ha I can judge Ohio pretty well since I grew up here. And I would spend summers and like winters sometimes in uh, Texas. So I feel like I have a good reality of what the music scene is like there as well. And I've always said like I prefer Texas music and DJs over Ohio. And Tucson, Arizona gives me the same feel as to when I'm in Texas. Like the DJs are so much better. You hear a lot more reggaeton, you hear cumbias, you hear salsa, you hear just all kinds of things and all kinds of music that I really like that I don't get to hear here in Ohio. In Ohio, they're closing out the bars to that closing time song. <laughs> and over in, you know, down south, they're closing it out to like Selena or Cardi B. <laughs> and so I think like just the vibe is always better. Really big, big fan of down south's nightlife and Tucson, Arizona has a great nightlife. I can see someone having a really great like bachelor or bachelorette weekend in Tucson, Arizona for half the price of Phoenix. So I don't know, maybe keep that in your mind if you're planning one of those soon. Definitely a lot cheaper than staying in Phoenix, Arizona. And like I said, the nightlife is a lot of fun. We went to Cobra, which is a game arcade style bar I've gone before and absolutely love it. I think if whenever I'm in Tucson, I always want to go to Cobra. I think it's a great spot to like start the night. The drink menu is so fun. It's just really, really great how they really are true to like the game community of the early 2000s and 90s. Aside from Cobra, we tried to get into Hotel Congress, which is like the most haunted spot in Tucson, Arizona. Couldn't get in because there was an event, 
but typically you are able to go in and check out their bar so if you're there go to it and let me know how it goes <laughs> and then we went to hi-fi kitchen and cocktails and this spot was a lot of fun the music was great they have like outdoor games that you can play or you can sit at the bar it was a really neat spot it was like one of those clubs that you see in like the rap music videos so if that's your vibe, definitely check it out. Like it was a good time. <laughs> okay, aside from nightlife, we did check out nature. And in Arizona, I think it's just so beautiful. I remember before going to Arizona, I always thought like I'd never need to go to Arizona because it's a desert. Like what's there to see there? But no, the desert is gorgeous. Like if you've never seen one in your life, go see one. Like just seeing the mountains, the desert, even the wildlife, like seeing all the lizards around and whatnot, like super super cool super neat for someone like me who's from ohio and i don't see that stuff every day people there really get to walk outside and just see like these beautiful mountains like a wonderful landscape so we checked out the saguaro national park and there's two sides of it which i learned that the hard way last time i went to arizona there's an east side and a west side and the west side is my favorite so the west side you kind of can just like drive through freely and there's like ton of cliffs so if you're scared of heights maybe go to the east side one the east side one was a little more chill but the west side like you just drive up these mountains forever and ever it feels like it feels like you're going to like that mountain on holes where it's like a thumb <laughs> like, like you're just way up there and like if you could fall off at any moment it's it's really neat they have like a gift shop and like tourist center that has bathrooms and a water bottle station so they really do a great job I think of ensuring that people can go and have a good time. I always want to go to the national park when I'm in Tucson, Arizona. It's such a beautiful thing to see like just before your eyes you're like this is just wonderful like can't believe we really can see beautiful things like this. My last thing on this weekend in Arizona, weekend in Tucson, Arizona video is the Tucson Mall. So I'm a 90s baby and I think the Tucson Mall, just like the outside of it, really reminds me of going to the mall as like a kid and like teenager and like you would expect to see like a Hollister in there that would be really dark to walk into in an Aeropostal and like I don't know. I think maybe because the mall back where I'm from like has shut down and like there's nothing in there and there's malls constantly shutting down around the city. When I see a mall like the one in Tucson, Arizona, I'm like this is so cute and like nostalgic and it's like amazing and I hope it stays open forever. So if you are a mall lover, go check out their mall. It's, it's just like really funny. It gets me in my feels when I see it. <laughs> and there's so much to do in there. And that is my weekend in Tucson. I was really honest in this video, so let me know what you think. And I'm hoping to make a video soon about the recent travels I've done that have been what has kept me away from making full videos. So thanks for watching.